On this DeBacco University video, we'll be looking at compressed carbon dioxide bottles for carbon dioxide enrichment related to cannabis production. So here we see a collection of bottles and using compressed carbon dioxide bottles for cannabis production is very common practice. Here are just some examples of some of the bottles that can be utilized. And let's go over some of the process involved when you're looking at implementing this type of system. So first off, this is the most common for hobby growers using bottle system. Many grow shops have bottle exchange program, which is great. Typically, this is only for the 20 pound bottles as these are the most commonly used for grow tents in small operations. Realize that can be bottles as small as five pounds or sometimes even two and a half pounds up to even way larger sizes than just 20 pounds. 50 can be relatively common, easy to handle. Uh, they can also be 200 pound bottles. It can be very difficult um, to get at that point. 20, by far the most common and often used in its bottle exchange program. What that is is where you bring an empty bottle, you pick up a full bottle, you empty that bottle, you bring it back, you exchange that bottle for another full bottle. So you don't get the same bottles back, but you always have a full 20 pound bottle with this exchange program. Now the bottle weight, keep in mind, is only the weight of the carbon dioxide. So just a word of caution. If you're purchasing a 20 pound bottle, this is only the weight of the carbon dioxide. It does not include the bottle weight. So when purchasing 20 pounds of carbon dioxide, it's likely you're going to be lifting or transporting closer to 40 pounds. And that depends on the material the bottle is made from. Uh, aluminum is, of course, going to be lighter than um, steel uh, as far as the bottle weight goes. But when you're purchasing bottles or looking at a oh, 20 pound bottle, that is only the weight of the carbon dioxide, not including the canister that's included in. So keep that in mind. It's particularly important when you have 50-pound uh, bottles. So these are often more efficient way to purchase carbon dioxide, but they can be more of a hassle. Remember, a 50-pound bottle of carbon dioxide, when purchased, will weigh about 170 pounds. So take care when transporting. Also, just a side note, on the image uh, next to me here, while well, it shows these bottles and looks like they're nice labeled with carbon dioxide, it should be capital C, capital O, with two as a subscript. So this technically looks like cobalt two, uh, not carbon dioxide. So that's just a little bit of the science behind And If you want to have capital C, capital O, with two as a subscript, capital C, lowercase o, actually means cobalt. Just a side note there. So for size reference, uh, you know, we talk about these bottles, you may look, look at them online. Well, how big are these bottles? Aluminum carbon dioxide cylinder information is provided here and shows an average height of a person to kind of give you that idea of just how much bigger that 50 pound bottle is. Probably part of the reason why the 20 pound is so common, 20 compared to 15, even compared to 10, not all that big of a size difference. You don't wanna go much smaller because you are gonna be dosing your area with that. So 20 pound bottle, probably the most common for grow shops. Uh, so in general though, why are bottles so popular? If you're purchasing pure carbon dioxide and there's no byproduct or waste added to your growing space. That's one of the reasons why compressed carbon dioxide in bottle form is so popular. This can also reduce the chance of plant damage. Also controllers with fudgy, what's called fuzzy logic can be used, which is another way to help increase use efficiency. Bottles also do not require special storage con conditions or maintenance. Basically uh, have an area that's chained off to a fixed point and you're good to go. There's no, not a lot of other special storage requirements that are needed, which make them very easy to implement into any particular growth space. However, bottle danger and storage uh, related to safety. Carbon dioxide cylinders should be stored indoors. Uh, and it should be stood upright against a wall and secured with a chain to ensure they cannot fall over and potentially damage or rupture the valve. As we can see here with our valves exposed, you also want to try to get bottles, and I'll go back for a second, that have these protective uh, coverings on them. These are the larger 50 pound bottles. You also notice the smaller bottles also have those. Not only does it protect this from any sort of damage, uh, it can also make for a great area to lift or to carry these bottles from. So it's, it's dual advantageous. Now back to our kind of bottle danger. The area around the tank and cylinder should be well ventilated if possible and should be monitored with a carbon dioxide safety alarm. Carbon dioxide tanks and cylinders should be stored in areas with a temperature less than 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 51.7 degrees Celsius. 
Carbon dioxide tanks and cylinders should always be connected to a reducing valve or regulator with a pressure safety valve to prevent any chance of leading to an exploding bottle, which is just not um, a safe environment for anyone around it. And also they can travel quite a distance if that regular was to break off. So it's good to have that carrying handle slash protector. Lastly, if you do have a bottle or if you look at a bottle, uh, there will be certain markings on that bottle. So this kind of gives you just an idea of what those what seems like random numbers kind of attest to and match. Uh, and you can take a picture of, of your bottle, match it up here uh, to get an idea of what those numbers actually mean as far as the safety concerns for your bottle. And it's you know, good information to be aware of that they're not just random numbers. Even though they may look like it, they actually can tell you uh, quite a bit of information if you know how to read them. And of course, here in Tobacco University, providing with the information for something you may have taken uh, granted of earlier, now you can develop that understanding for just what is on that bottle.